Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I am going to show you how to install and use Defocus on Windows. Defocus is an enhanced fork of Focus, boasting a multitude of additional features that significantly expand its capabilities. This fork incorporates Photopea, a robust image editor, as well as Ream, a convenient tool for effortlessly removing backgrounds from images. Defocus builds upon the strengths of stable diffusion and Midjourney, incorporating key features like offline mode, open source code, automation, and easy installation, which I'll show you in a minute. To download the program from GitHub, simply navigate to the repository. I might put a link in the description in case I don't forget. Click on the Releases tab. From there, scroll down to the Assets section and click on the file defocus.7z. The download will begin, and you can then extract the files to get started. Also download portable Git software. You need this to clone the repository which is also very simple to achieve, and I will show you in a minute. After unpacking the portable software, open up the folder and run bash. Bash is similar to the Windows command prompt. The file install.bat contains the command to clone your repository. Copy the path to folder where you have downloaded defocus. Type cd, which stands for change directory. Now run the clone command from the install bat. Press enter to execute the command. Note that the folder defocus has been created. Now move all files inside this folder. The folder should contain all files and should look as mine. Now it's time to execute the run command. Before that, in Windows Explorer type cmd and press enter. This will open and command prompt at the right place. Not sure when you will watch this video, but if you run in the same issue, error number to no such file or directory, here is how I managed to fix the issue. As you can see the file is available. To fix the issue open up the run.bat file in a text editor. It's always a good idea to have backup. Before editing, I do a copy and paste. I fixed the problem by replacing defocus with a simple dot. Save the file and run the command again. Now the models and whatnot are downloaded. As the files are several gigabytes in size, this will take some time. If everything went well, the program should start, which is not the case for me. As I use a virtual machine, the application won't start. So keep that in mind. After moving the files to a local machine, execute run again. The application runs completely offline. To generate a picture simply add the description and press the generate button. My video card is some years old. Rendering the picture of the black cat took about 80 for seconds on my PC. Judge for yourself, but I think the result is quite nice and looks pretty realistic. I like the details and the composition. I also love the ease of use of the application. Now, let's dive into Defocus and see what else the application has to offer. This time, I'm going to use a more complex prompt. If you are lazy like me, just use a PI build prompt. There are many websites that offer them. Once you have added the command prompt, click on the advanced button. This will open the settings tab, where you can customize the settings to your needs. Here you can set the quality. One thing I have noticed, when I use the extreme speed setting, I have a problem and the rendering does not start. I'm not sure if this problem is related to my graphics card. Let me know in the comments below if you run into the same problem. Anyhow, I didn't like the prompt anyway, so let's try a different one. This one looks great. That's what we get out of defocus using this prompt. Before rendering an image, you can set the width, height, and aspect ratio. Using the slider below, you can set how many variation you wish to create. Use the Styles tab to select styles. When you move the mouse over a style, a preview is displayed to give you an idea of how the style will affect the rendered image. You can also use the quick filter search bar at the top to filter for specific styles. Play around yourself and see what you like best. In the next tab, you can select and add specific models and set the weight of each individual model. The last tab contains advanced settings that I am not interested in at the moment. 
So let's go back and start rendering. I can't wait to see the results. This time I chose the highest quality available, so it will take some time on my old computer. I love watching how the picture slowly builds up and more and more details are added. I will speed up the video for you so that it doesn't get too boring. Since I have set 5 variations for rendering, it takes accordingly. On my computer, it took about 10 minutes for all 5 images, at a resolution of 1024 times 1024 Maybe I should buy a new computer so that I don't have to wait so long. So this is the end result. I think it's pretty impressive. Compared to other AI generators, I particularly like the simple user interface and the fact that the program can be used offline. Of course, I also love that it costs nothing but electricity. Compared to many similar online image generators like Bidjourney, there is no manual tweaking needed. Now, you should know how to install and use Defocus to create amazing images, and how to get around the problems you may encounter when installing and using the application. I hope you enjoyed the video. Which is your favorite AI image generator? Leave a comment below. See you in the next video.